Well, it can happen to anyone at any age, and in some cases, it can cause death. We are talking about myocarditis, an inflammation of the heart muscle usually caused by a virus. Carolyn Sweet of Bodenham has made it her mission to raise awareness about myocarditis. That's because it took her young son's life seven years ago. He was one of those kids where he'd walk into a room and the energy level just rose and smiles on people's faces. Carolyn Sweet says her son Logan was also a very healthy kid who, besides coming down with the flu, was never really ill and passed his six year old checkup with flying colors. But two days later, everything changed. And they played outside for a good hour and a half. And then uh, he came in to, to get ready for dinner and he just collapsed. Logan was rushed to the hospital but could not be revived. It wasn't until they got the autopsy report that they found out why. It was Sunday, which was Mother's Day, that we learned that his heart was 75% larger wow. than normal. A virus attacked his heart, causing a condition known as myocarditis. Now she and a friend are raising awareness through song. Rebecca Beck runs Studio 48, a performing arts and dance theater in Brunswick. She is putting on a musical called 13 Tomorrow, in honor of Logan, who would have turned 13 this year. Carolyn came to my studio with her youngest, and I fell in love with the whole family. So when Carolyn said she wanted to do a fundraiser to raise awareness, she was on board. I feel that giving back to the community and keeping her legacy alive and her son alive in a lot of different ways. And Carolyn couldn't be more appreciative for people to be entertained as well as educated. One of the things I'm hoping is that they are touched by Logan's story. And I certainly think they will be. Well, tomorrow evening's performance of 13 takes place at the Orion Performing Arts Center at Mount Ararat Middle School in Thompson. And proceeds from a silent auction will go towards the Logan Sweet Foundation, which helps to fund community projects and day camps for kids, something Carolyn says her son loved.